Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can automate drawings in paint through Python. It is an incredible tutorial and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did when I first learned how to do it. So we will dive straight into the video, I'll put my glasses on as usual and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are in PyCharm. I have created an automated drawing Python file and we're just going to import the relevant modules to begin with, which is important before we do any code. So all we're going to import is import pyauto.gui, which if you've seen any of my previous videos, I have used pyauto.gui. It's an incredible module. I have done a full kind of video on everything you can do in pyauto.gui. So if after watching this video you're interested in what else you can do, then I recommend checking out that video. But we're going to continue with the video and import time as well. So what we're going to try and do in this is we're going to try and make a spiral drawing using pyauto. GUI and I'll show you exactly what this is supposed to look like. So we're wanting to draw this. Now this is really really cool, it's quite I suppose trippy, it's kind of like a bird's eye view of a pyramid. We're going to attempt to make this without even touching the screen at all by running a simple Python file and getting it to do the work for us. So I'll show you exactly how you do that. So the first thing we need to do is just give the Python file a little bit of time to sleep before we do so. It just means that we can then move on to the paint app without it immediately starting to draw. That's just what the time.sleep does, it just kind of pauses the Python file for three seconds. You can change this to any seconds you want if you have quick reflexes or slow reflexes depending on those. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the distance and we're going to let this equal 300. So the distance is essentially just this the first kind of line you see on here, that is the distance that we want. So you can make this big. If you make it too big, it will be too big to fit on your screen. Um, if you watch my PyAuto GUI video, I talk about how you can find out the resolution of your entire screen. So just make sure you stick to appropriate sizes on this. The more sensible, the better. <laughs> so we'll stick with the distance. And what we're gonna say is while this distance is greater than zero, and all that means is, when this eventually gets to this point here where there's no longer any distance we're not going to do anything else because we don't want anything to happen in the middle of here when this distance is obviously zero so while the distance is greater than zero so for these lines here obviously the distance is greater than zero because it's drawing lines we want to take pi auto gy and we want to drag the mouse because obviously dragging the mouse in paint draws and we're going to drag it relative to a certain distance which is the distance we've defined here so we're going to put the first argument and this is the x coordinate so we're going to move x coordinate of 300 so that's the distance and that's distance there so it's going to move 300 which is what this is here so it's moving 300 in the x notice there's no variation in the y axis so that we don't kind of go down like this it's it's just a straight line so the y argument in here is going to be zero and that's because we don't want to move in the y axis at all we're going to move for a duration of one second. So what this means is it will drag relative to this distance and while it's dragging, it will do that over one second. It just means that instead of it doing instantaneously, we can see the gradual progression of our picture. And then the last thing that we need to say is just assign which button we want. So button left, it just means we will left click and that will obviously drag it. Um, this is something I noticed online, no one seems to have put this in but when you run other people's python code it doesn't seem to work because you need to assign the button so just remember to you know add the button in because uh, that's really important and then what we're going to do after this is so we're moving so we're moving this distance along here but we don't want to move the exact same distance again we want to make this line here shorter and the way that we do that is we're just going to change this distance here so distance is a variable and we can do what we want with this distance because we've assigned it to be a variable now so we're just going to make the distance equal the previous distance minus 20. now you can simplify this notation but just because i know a lot of beginners watch my videos i'm not simplifying it for that reason just to kind of explain what's going on so we take the distance um, and then whatever distance we have minus 20 that becomes the new distance and then what we do is so we've moved across here the distance is now less so we won't move as long down here but we still need to draw it so that's what we're going to do now so we'll say pi auto gy dot drag relative so that's dragging relative again we're not going to move in the x-axis but we're going to move in the y-axis this new distance here which has got minus 20 on we're going to move over one second again and the button is going to be left again so it's going to do this line down here and now we want this line across here 
and instead of moving the distance again we're just going to keep this line the same as this line down here so the same length so we're just going to say here pi auto gy we're going to do the exact same thing drag relative but in this point but at this point we want to go back on ourselves so we're going to say minus distance and all that does is it, so instead of going across this way it's going to go back the way which is this bit down here so we're just going to do minus distance zero for y again because we're not moving in the y-axis one second and the button is going to be left perfect okay now what we're going to do is do the distance again we're going to make we're going to subtract minus 20 off that and all that does is instead of having this because these two lines here are identical they're both the same distance is the same but this can't be the same distance because if that was the case then we would just end up back here again so we need to make sure we've got minus distance off here so we need to make sure we've minus some distance off it and in our case that's 20. and then the final thing to do is just say pi auto gui drag relative and again we're going to do the reverse of going down we're going to go back up here and the way that we do that is we don't move in the x axis we're going to go negative in the y axis across one second and the button again is the left button so we're clicking left left click okay perfect and now i'm just going to add and now i'm just going to add down here just a, maybe two seconds per kind of movement around just so we have a bit of time say if we want to fail safe uh, there's a video on my channel about how you do fail safe i'd recommend watching that uh, just before you kind of test out this um i recommend putting time.sleep in here the way that you fail safe so how you abort a thing if it abort something if it's happening is you just move your mouse to one of the corner screens but there's a video on my channel explaining how that works so i'd recommend checking that out um just in case you get into kind of a spot of bother and and you want to stop your python file from running okay cool so now we're going to test this out on paint so i have paint right here all that's left to do now is run the python file so we'll run it and we'll move on to our screen ready for it to do the uh, spiral drawing oh it's doing it okay cool there we go now you can make this happen instantaneously okay so we've noticed it's paused and that's just because i put the time.sleep in there you can make this happen instantaneously you know very very fast uh, and that's just if you kind of don't assign the one second per thing so i'll do that after this is done i'll show you what happens if you get rid of the time you know it takes to draw it will happen very very fast just because python you know when you're doing commands like these they do happen very fast because they're not hard commands for python to do um so yeah it's quite interesting how you can make it look like a gradual progression of this picture compared to when uh, when you do it instantaneously so i'll show you that in just a moment there we go perfect we've drawn a spiral amazing so now what i'll show you is what happens if you do get rid of these like one seconds um and just show you how fast it does do it so we'll just do that and i'll get rid of the time.sleep as well and we'll just run it and i'll put it over here now watch how fast it does it how crazy is that now that looks pretty cool how with how fast that is um yeah it happens so fast and that's almost a little bit more exciting to watch when it does happen so fast but this way is just a nice way of showing you how to you know in case something goes wrong you can then fail safe and move your mouse to the corner of the screen and um, to fail safe it to abort the python file but there we go that is exactly how you automate drawing using PyAuto gui in python i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video